Well, hi everybody. Today is um, October the 19th of 2013, and I'm here in Ascot, England, and I'm going to be visiting the very famous Ascot racetrack, which is the most famous racetrack in England, and uh, one of the most famous racetracks in the world, actually, and maybe the most famous racetrack in the world. Uh, I've never been here before, and my good fortune uh, gets me here on British Champions Day, which is one of the biggest race days at Ascot. Uh, so it's a big day here for me. I'm right in the train station now at Ascot. I just arrived. Okay, the gates just opened up here, and I'm now inside the track, so let's just take a little look around. Uh, this is basically right inside the gates. Oh, the sun is coming out, too. It's very nice. This is called Kipco British Champions Day. It's a big day here at Ascot. And I'm looking right down here. It looks like the parade ring and the grandstands in, uh, behind. Wow, the sun just came out. It's a good omen. Here's a nice panorama of the uh, grandstands and the track. It's nice to get here early. There's nobody here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They have uh, all these little benches here uh, in a big lawn, and you can just sit in the benches. These are going to be packed, and also uh, you can picnic down in the next area that you can see a little further down there. That's actually a picnic area, and there's the grandstands. So it's a very unusual track uh, compared to what I'm used to. I've been to some of the most famous tracks in the world, uh, but I've never been to Ascot or actually any racetrack in England, so this is a first for me. It's not every day I get to see the Queen, folks. Down here, these are the different betting stations. This is actually, uh, this isn't the track uh, offering the betting. These are uh, individual, uh, I'm not sure how to put it, independent contractors that are allowed to set up their own betting stations. I mean, it's not something you'd see in the U.S. And uh, the odds can vary by, from station to station. So you can go down here and, and make a bet with one of these guys, and then if you win, you go back to the same uh, guy you bought the ticket from, and, and uh, if you win, you know, he'll pay you off. Paris Green still has the lead inside the final further and a half, but it's the Irish Jumps to run at the start, who moves through, Esteban is now finding some momentum on the outside, and moving through this big world of Royal Diamond, the Paris Green is galloping on resolutely, high at the start, and Esteban, and Royal Diamond, 150 yards to go, 
Harris Green all out, coming round the storm of Royal Diamond, Royal Diamond on the outside, the last one to Harris Green, who's all out, Royal Diamond dives and may have pinched the prize, it's close, Royal Diamond on the outside of Harris Green, I have the storm next, behind these Pal Mimosa, Sadler's Rock biographer, estimate times up. Okay, that's it. An afternoon at Ascot Racetrack. It's now time to say goodbye to Ascot. You never know where destiny will take you.